Hello everyone, how are you doing? Uh, in today's video, I came up with a solution with a very uh, with a problem with installation of macOS on VirtualBox. Okay, so I faced this issue uh, a couple of weeks back. So I just thought that I should share with you that uh, one possibility, one possible way of fixing this. So uh, I hope mm, uh, those of you who are using VirtualBox, uh, macOS uh, on VirtualBox has faced this issue. Okay, where you get this uh, message like that copy of the install macOS application is damaged and can't be can't be used to install macOS. Okay, so what uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to show you. First, uh, we will see the problem. After that, uh, we will find a solution of this. Okay, so let's start and let's create. A Mac OS High Sierra 6C. All uh, it's uh, you know all uh, it automatically it takes the type and version. Okay, so let's select the. Uh, I think I have to select from here. Okay. Software Mac OS High Sierra Mac OS High Sierra. Okay, I've done it. So this is just a testing. The okay. So I'll just keep it a low. Like uh, normally, I take uh, three zero seven two or four zero nine six MB, but this is fine. And okay, let's make it three zero seven two. Otherwise, the installation can get slow. Okay, so uh, I keep it 20 GB, not required. This is only for testing, only to show this issue. So 20 GB is fine. I pre-allocated full size existing. No, not pre-allocated. I will just use the dynamic one. Okay. So finished, and let us do the rest of the thing. Uh, okay, year 3072, uh, use tablet, enable security, secure boot, not required, everything is fine, display 128 MB, this is done, enable 3D acceleration, storage, VDI done, this is done, audio, network, I will make it bridged. Mm, serial ports, USB ports, USB 1.1 I'll keep it, ok, done. Now let's see uh, what ex exactly the issue is. After that we will go for the solution. Ok, you no, know, just a moment, I just, I think I did some, missed something. Ok, uh, you have to do one thing. Uh, you have to run one script, ok. Okay, so I guess I just forgot the name of the script just to find out just give me a second I'm going to update VM for Mac okay so sudo sh update this is a vbox managed script Okay, so password Okay, some issue is there Let us run it. Okay, so sudo is not required. Uh, let us see Where is Mac OS Sierra? Hi Sierra 13 Mac OS Hi Sierra. Okay, so I'll put 13 done okay uh, if you if I don't do this uh, it will not boot okay it will every time it will reboot and it will not start so let us start and uh, I'll come back once uh, the GUI is loaded so it started and 
in the next step uh, we will we will just see what is exactly the error comes when the error comes so okay so they we will prepare the disk uh, erase the disk and after that when we will select the disk and uh, continue the installation this message will appear Okay, English, select English. Now, first go to disk utility. I have to prepare the disk, erase it. Okay, VBOX hard disk, this one. Erase Mac OS High Sierra HD. Okay, done. Erase. Close it. Now install Mac OS. Continue. Copy of the install Mac OS High Sierra application is damaged and can't be used to install Mac OS. So now what is the solution? For the solution, what we will do? We have to mount the ISO file and in that file in there is a folder system under that library under that core services under that we have system version dot plist okay just go to that and open it with anything like sublime text okay right <coughs> you see product building build version 17 f 77 and product version 13 10.13.5 now i will go to <coughs> wikipedia page and this is the Mac OS High Sierra Wikipedia page. Here we will find all the release date. Okay. Build build number and release date. So let us match this. This is 17 F77. <coughs> 17 F77 and version C 10.13.5. So what is the release date? Uh, it is given June 1st. Okay. So if we change the date I mean system date if you change the system date around uh, suppose uh, first week of June right after this date then we can there's um, the possibility of this see the problem why this problem occurs the problem occurs because the certificate has expired now what is the date today today is 4th November 2000, 2023 now this is somewhere around this uh, release has been done June 1st so certificate end date has already expired okay so we need to do this trick but for doing this trick we need to do one thing first of all what you need to do you need to disable your internet connection okay because I am going to change the date so if I change the date so what will happen exactly when you change the date then it uh, go to the internet and automatically from the time zone it update its date but if I disable the internet connection and then I change the date then it's okay I mean the date will not um, revert back to is the current date okay so date format is mm 
let us keep the date uh, DD 07 or 7th of June MM DD then HH hour suppose now it is uh, uh, 22 23 hours and uh, give give any time like uh, 16 hours 23 okay and year and the year is uh, what is saw is 18 right 2018 yeah so it is uh, MMDD HH SHS uh, then a mm means minute small mm then year yy i change the date see again you did keep the date command okay so done so now i will just quit the terminal and again go and open the terminal and check whether the date is changed again date is intact okay so let's quit it now try to install this Okay, so message is the message didn't appear that means it is preparing for the installation so this is the trick how you but if you keep the internet on then you cannot do this because once the internet is on then the time will be only automatically synchronized to the current date and time okay so make sure before changing the date that your internet connection is off okay okay so now you are ready we are ready for installation okay so I will not uh, proceed here further okay so if you want to uh, want a video on Mac uh, high Sierra installation please comment on my video okay and we can proceed with that so that's all about uh, this video and uh, I hope uh, you can fix your problem just follow the step I will uh, uh, give all the details on the description what you need to do where you have to find the version and build version and product version and uh, how to change the date everything you will find here so please like and comment on my video and please share it and do subscribe to my channel just so that I can make more video which will be interesting for you. Thank you.